Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning everyone Welcome to English class with me, Miss Santi Okay, how are you doing today? I'm, I really hope that you are doing great Like I'm doing right now, I'm doing great Even though we still have in the pandemic situation But we have to keep our spirit to do all of the activities Now, before starting the activities Let's pray together The pray begin Pray finish. Well, as you see in the Xbox, uh, in the slideshow that we want to discuss about analytical exposition text. But before that, I want to show you about the article that taken from uh, the website of Jakarta Post. Uh, this article have already adapted because uh, to make you easier to understand the point. Now let's take a look at the article. Not all hand sanitizer work against COVID-19. I'm pretty sure that you guys already familiar with this topic and the titles. And for now, I will give you a change to do the scanning reading. Uh, what about if I give you like 15 seconds to read all of this and then we will discuss about it after you read this article. Okay, now please read this article. Okay, now, after reading this article, what do you think about the article? Are you persuaded uh, by reading all of the article, by reading all of the text? And uh, are you really in interested to do what inside this article? If yes, so this is a kind of analytical exposition text. Now, let's see. The first paragraph. Though hand sanitizers can help reduce our risk of catching certain infections, not all hand sanitizers are equally effective against coronavirus. From this statement, we know that all of the all of the paragraphs contain of uh, the arguments that support this point. So this is uh, this is what we call. Analytical exposition text. An analytical exposition is a type of spoken or written text that elaborates writer's point of view to persuade the listeners or readers that something is in the case. So in the in this case, the writer wants to persuade the readers about what inside the paragraph by giving the arguments that already described in the paragraph. Now for this meeting, I really hope that you guys uh, learn about uh, the definitions of analytical exposition text and finding the structures of analytical exposition text. Now, again, to make you easier to understand, I will draw a diagram. This is called Fishbone Diagram. Like you see here, the first part is the head of the the, uh, the bone of the head. So this one is called head bone. The head bone is usually consists of the beginning of the paragraphs. So uh, the head bone is the thesis statement. And the second one is, you can see here, this one is the backbone. The backbone is used to link all of the paragraph. Now, uh, inside uh, Instead of the backbone, here is the cardinal cartridge. Uh, it is used to have the key point of each paragraph that contains of arguments and also reiterations. Now, we will uh, practice to apply the key points in the fishbone diagram based on the text that we have already read before. Now, let's look again to the articles. Okay, now let's see the first paragraph. The first paragraph is the beginning or the introductions. So, we have to put this, uh, 
this sentence in the in the head bone. Meanwhile, the thesis statement is not all of the sentences. We only have to know the key points of the first sentence or the first paragraph. Now, let's see. Though hand sanitizer can help reduce uh, our risk of catching certain infections, not all hand sanitizer are equally effective against coronavirus. So from here, from the step, from the sentence, we want to know the key points. Now let's see. The key points is not all hand sanitizer are effective against coronavirus. So this is the in, the key points of the first paragraphs that we call thesis statement or the introductions of the paragraphs. Now let's see again in the second paragraph here. Well, hand sanitizer will play will with less than 60% alcohol were also found to be less effective at killing bacteria and fungi and may only reduce the growth of germ rather than killing them outright. This is the main idea of the first uh, of the second paragraphs. And we want to know the key point of the second paragraph that usually called the arguments. Now, let's see. The key point of the second paragraph is less effective. So, less effective here is the key point of the second paragraph. Now, look at the third paragraph. Studies have found that hand washing is more effective than hand sanitizer at pneumotic norovirus cryptos, cryptosporidium uh, and colostrium difficile. Okay, this one is the main idea of the third paragraph. Then as we know that we want to make a key point of uh, the third paragraph. Now let's see the diagram. The key point of paragraph three, uh, paragraph three is hand washing is more effective. This is the second argument of uh, this text. Now again to the fourth paragraph. Alcohol-based hand sanitizer are practical alternatives when soap and water are not available. So this one is the main idea because this is the only one sentence in paragraph 4. So we know that this one is the main idea of the paragraph. So the key point of the fourth paragraph is practical alternatives, alternative choice. So the key point is not uh, only stated in the, in the text, but also we can uh, make it like more uh, compact. Okay, now here the third key point is alternative choice. And let's see the last paragraph. Therefore, people must be careful to choose hand sanitizer to against coronavirus. As we see here, this one is the conclusions of the paragraphs that already stated in the first paragraph. So this one is called reiterations, or we call back the discussions that in, uh, that's already inside in the text. Now let's see the diagram. The fourth key point is choose correct hand sanitizer. Now you can uh, break down again the key point of each paragraph by giving the supporting idea or the supporting detail in each number here. So here, less effective because uh, the, in the second paragraph we have three or two, one, two, three, okay, three sentences. So we here have three, uh, two supporting idea or supporting detail. And also, in the second paragraph, we also have one supporting detail. And in the th uh, fourth paragraph, we have one supporting detail. So this is called Fisborn Diagram. Now, you guys already know about how to make you easier to do the analytical exposition text. Or you will, uh, in the next uh, meeting, you will uh, able you will be able to write down the analytical exposition text based on this kind of diagram. 
Okay? Now, let's see here. These are all of the tags. So, I define it into three kinds of paragraphs. This is the first paragraph. This one is the second, the third, and the fourth paragraph. And this is the last paragraph. Now, let's see the structure. Okay, this first paragraph is called thesis statement. Like I said before, thesis statement is to introduce the paragraph, what it's all about. Now, in the second, the third, and the fourth paragraph, it is the arguments. Uh, these are the arguments of uh, the thesis. Yeah, so the arguments support what have already mentioned in the first paragraph. And the last point is reiteration or we can say that this one is the conclusion so we reiterate the first paragraph into the, the last paragraph so this is the structure of analytical exposition text what do you think do you think that this one is easier for you to understand right now okay now I have another article for you to be broken down in the feasible diagram here I, I have the article and also the fist bone here. You can fill in the blank here. There are thesis statement and then the main, first main idea, second main idea, third main idea into the key points and you have to break them down. You have to break down all of the paragraph into the key points. Remember, the fist bone consists of key points. Okay, now you guys have 10 minutes to do this job, to do this work, and uh, after that we, I will, we will discuss about it, okay? Now, let's do it! So guys, today we have found the structure of analytical exposition text and also the definition of analytical exposition text. The structures of analytical exposition text consist of thesis, that introduce topic and show speakers or writers positions and arguments that consist about point and elaborations and also reiterations that restate speakers or writers positions so uh, guys we have already learned about the definitions of analytical exposition text and also the structures of analytical exposition text Hope that you guys uh, learned about it and you can practice at home and I really appreciate that you uh, listen to me and thank you for your attention. Let's close our activity today by saying Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And Good morning. Have a nice day.